Hey guys, welcome to the 153rd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the ref and the out keywords. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and an age integer and just set it equal to 3 and have a method with a return type of void and have it pass through some sort of age integer. Alright, so up until now we've only been dealing with methods that do not change the actual variables that you pass through. So for example, if we were to modify this age variable right here, let's just say plus equals 5, then it won't actually change this age variable if we were to call the method and pass this variable through. So if we just called this modify method and pass age through, then it wouldn't actually be changing this age variable. Basically what it does is it creates a new integer called age and sets it equal to whatever variable that you pass through. So if we were to pass through 5 right here, then it would create a new integer called age and set it equal to 5. But if we were to pass through age, it would set this integer age equal to this integer age, which is, which is equal to 3. So this basically just represents 3. And then if we were to modify this variable, it won't change this variable. So if we just have a message box to show age to string, we're just going to see 3 because it doesn't actually change this age variable when we modify this one. Alright, and yeah, we get 3. But what if we actually wanted to change this variable or make changes to this variable inside of this method? Well, what we could do is use the ref keyword. We just type ref right there. So now when we make changes to this variable, it will make changes to this variable. So instead of creating a new variable, basically what it does is it uses this variable instead. So whatever changes are made to this, vari or to this variable will be shown in this variable. Now in order to pass this age through right here, we're just going to want to type ref right before it. Alright, so now we should get 8 in a message box because it's initially set to 3. We pass this through as a reference and then it, when it changes this age right here, the changes will be shown in this right here. Yep. Alright, and whenever you're referencing some sort of variable, you need to make sure that it's actually set equal to something. So if we just have it right here and don't set it equal to something, we're going to get an error saying use of unassigned local variable age. That just means that it's not set equal to something. So we're just going to set it equal to 3 again. And since you're referencing something, you can't just pass through something that the variable represents. So we can't just pass through 5 right here. We actually have to pass through um, a variable. So I'm going to change that to age. And there's another um, keyword that you can use, and that's called out. And it's similar to reference, but it's not the same. So if we were to say out string name right here, then we don't have to set name equal to something. We can just pass through um, an empty or a variable that doesn't isn't set equal to anything. So we could say string. Um, I'll just call this name, I guess. And we could pass through name right there, and we wouldn't have to set it equal to anything. See, there's no problems. However, when we use out inside of our method, we must set this name equal to something. So we set name equal to Adam inside of here, then the changes will be seen in this string Adam. So if we were to have a message box show um, with, our, with the name inside of it, uh, we would get Adam, since whatever changes are made to this string will appear in this string, since we're using the out keyword. And again, whenever we're passing a variable through, we're going to have to say out in front of it. So let me just have name be displayed in here, and we should get Adam. Yep, 8 and Adam, because 8 is the age and this Adam is the name. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on using the ref and the out keyword, so see you guys.